What's up everybody, Carl here with another Ubuntu server tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Murmur server, or better known as a Mumble server. Mumble is a free to use voice over IP, it's very similar to um, TeamSpeak or Ventrilo, but Mumble doesn't require a license to run a server past 10 slots. So I'm going to teach you how to install it today because it's one of my personal favorites. First thing you want to do is turn on the server and log in. Once log in, we're going to run the following command. sudo apt git oops <laughs> git install mumble-server. Enter your password. Enter your password incorrectly. <laughs> Go ahead and press yes to install. It's uh, just under 30 gig, or sorry, <laughs> under 30 megabytes, fully installed. Once that's finished, let's go through an initial configuration, which is going to be sudo dpkg reconfigure mumble server. Uh, the first prompt is going to ask you if you want to auto start on server boot up. I'm going to select yes. You may select whatever you like. And would you like to run? Would you like to allow um, mobile server to run as a higher priority? I'm going to select no. Again, it's up to you. And it's going to ask you uh, to set up a uh, super user password. Uh, pick something that you're going to pick something hard to guess but easy to remember because you're going to need this password to configure to configure your mobile server. All right, now we can go ahead and play with the configuration. So let's go ahead and open the configuration file. To do so, type sudo vi forward slash etc forward slash mumble dash server dot ini. And we open the mumble uh, configuration. Kind of go over a couple things here. Uh, the database is where all the mumble information is stored. It uses SQL Lite or SQ Lite anyway as standard. You can set it, set it up for SQ, my SQL if you want by making changes to um, the DB driver and all that good stuff. I'm not going to change that. Let's see here. You can change your welcome text. The standard is welcome to this welcome to the server running mum murmur. Enjoy your stay. You can uh, edit this line. It supports most HTML, but not all. You can play with that. Uh, the port, is the default port used by uh, Mumble 64,738. You can make it changes, make the changes you see fit. This, the port is required to join. You can set up a password to the server by entering your password in the password line. You can change the uh, maximum bandwidth allowed, the number of users. Uh, unlike TeamSpeak and their free client, um, you're not limited by how many users you're allowed to uh, select. You can edit usernames. You can make um, change how, what the uh, the uh, maximum text length is. You can allow HTML and channel descriptions. Uh, the register name here is a good one. A lot of people don't know about, but if you press insert and uncomment this line, you can change the name of your mobile server by editing this line here. Um, otherwise, it just says root. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, anything, everything else is editable, um, but um, really serves no practical purpose on the server side itself. Once you're done here, just press escape, colon, WC. And then we'll need to reset the server. So sudo service mumble-server restart. And the server just restarted. Um, now all you'll need to do is open up the mumbled client on your desktop, enter in your IP address and the port that you've chosen and you'll be able to connect into it. And uh, that's really all there is to it. And uh, you have complete control over your mumble settings from the Ubuntu server. Uh, the, the Ubuntu server. And uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please show me, leave me a like if you want to be kept up to date with tutorials as I release them. Subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.